Don't try this in real life. And multiplayer over modem? Yeah, we're not doing that. That's not happening without a time machine. I mean, do you guys have a time machine? Uh huh. Sure. All right. Okay, I'm being told to never ask that again. Moving on. I have to send it back. What? I send it back in time to warn us, but it didn't work. I killed him. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Oh yeah, obviously this guy's a skin job. Observe! It's taken years off my life! Meanwhile, at Valve... The game's intro has your employer calling you, telling you you're a fucked up loser, and offering you steady employment through an app, sort of like being an Uber driver that murders people. I can't put into words how bad this sounds. Everything is... Ugh. The toilets are biological weapons. Superfly... Johnson. I'm not sure if that's charmingly tone deaf or an awesome porn star name. You find him in- ah! I am a flesh automaton animated by neurotransmitters. No one told me. And that's what I call cutting cards. Actionable pun detected. Yeah. When did John Carmack open a casino? This new play mechanic threw many people off the game because it was too difficult. Yeah, difficult, because the AI doesn't know how stairs work. So I've been replaying this f <laughs> Yeah, fuck that noise. But Simi, you have to do every expansion for every game ever because you did the Duke Nuke and shut the fuck up. I remember him well. Thin-skinned, ill-tempered, smokes too much, disagreeable smell. I feel attacked. May they be delivered swiftly from the Call of Duty minds, amen. To EA something, it means you have a game studio that makes a good, critically and commercially successful game, and then you kill them in a kind of ritual sacrifice to absorb their essence, and use that to put out a shitty sports game every year. It's a fucking gun! Listen, there is a right place to put 3D in the title of your game. It is at the end. We are men, we are not animals. Where did you get that? Makiko, no! I have lightning. I'm not saying that id Software co-founder and keeper of the Forbidden Code, master of the anti-life equation, John Carmack, traveled back in time to try and burn Nintendo with a satanic game being hacked onto the console that saved the home gaming industry after the fall of Atari. But I want you to look me in the eye and tell me he couldn't. You can't put a puppy in a game and then have the main character give it to a child and have that game be bad. You can't. How does he have that same face? Why do you hate Hexen, Civvy? Emotional dammit! That's right, we're killing TikTok memes now! So you have Lee Jackson and Andrew Hulschelt working on the same game. Musical Ragnarok. Oh, hi, doggy. AVGN may have beaten me to Chex Quest, but I beat him to the fucking Hellraiser cartridge. Bet I could get Gianni to read something worse. The scene of internet-renowned voice actor Gianni Matrograno reading the pitch for Boss Baby 3, Hostile Tykeover, has been cut to ensure the continued financial viability of this YouTube channel, and the bogus check Sivvy wrote him for this performance is- Wait, what, seriously? Oh, I swear to God, after this I'm blocking you, Sivvy. This is like working with New Blood all over again. An intelligent flat cannon. All right, I'm locking that gag away in the Civi vault. We've been using it too much. Some people don't like the term Metroidvania, so let's go with Obsessive Compulsive Simulator. Jump slash, land slash, get the candle, get the candle. What sick freak decided that map coverage should go above 100%? I'm really trying to be fair to this game. I'm trying not to make Bethesda jokes, but this game was really unstable back in the day. Like, it would crash so much, I don't even remember finishing it with cheats. We're in the dungeon now, so let's get a patch from the community that fixes the bugs in a Bethesda game. The game lets you go between levels by camel. <laughs> Truly the most dignified way to travel. And at the time, that sounded a bit presumptuous. You know, but then he did. They wrote their own. The simple creation engine for adventure makers. Scream. <laughs> What's the name of the Egyptian god of random drops that's fucking me over right now? Sobek, you've betrayed me! This goddamn mirror because fuck Nazis and fuck their dogs who are not good boys and do not go to doggy heaven. That's what the Iron Maiden song was about, right? How awesome it is to be king? I know what they're going for, but no. Fucking roll. Why'd you send me to a murder house, Jerry? Oh, uh, thank fuck. I was so hoping I'd get zero health sometime during this. That's fucking raw. This is like if you actually got Slayer to do Doom music. System Shock 1 felt like playing an operating system and not a game, but I guess the Enhanced Edition fixes that a little bit, right? Pissing 
brings you back to life. Recommended to me by a team of build experts who all died in tragic door-related accidents. These warnings are a lot more ominous than they should be. Being the worst level in Redneck Rampage is like being the Hollywood producer you're most afraid to leave your kids alone with. Farkas here sells to disreputable indie thieves like Garrett. Seems like a nice guy. Oh. Message for you, son. Oh shit, I forgot. No Python. No, not you, never you. So I go up to the second floor, which is Pee Wee's Playhouse, but with death traps. A map which is about as useful as tits on a submarine. Um... What, uh, what the fuck? Come on in! It's your master bedroom! Ow, my nose! They put them in Iron Maidens. Iron Maiden? Excellent! <laughs> There's no kill like overkill. Katie, hit the image intensifier. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Winners don't lose frogs, but do they lick toads? Wow, looking glass, don't threaten me with a good time. Oh dear God, they did it. They gave the bug boobs, but they're still not the pinnacle of monster titties. Okay, no, no more of this. I live again. Not for long. Extra crispy is like playing a casual game of Minecraft while being set, set on fucking fire. fire. Thankfully, you'll get the Tesla cannon. It's a godsend. The game might be unplayable without it. It fucks up everything. It's my weapon of choice against hellhounds, stone gargoyles, flesh gargoyles, debt collectors, people who tell me to watch Aaron Sorkin shows, small vermin, the elderly, sexual predators, elderly sexual predators, and loved ones that I buried in the pet cemetery. You know what? I'm not here to shit all over Blood 2. I'm here to celebrate it and- You son of a- Fuck this game with a pineapple. It's not done. It needs to go back in the oven for another few months. How undercooked is this game? It's fucking love. Good luck, asshole. He said over his own gameplay footage. You're just solving logic puzzles with dynamite. That's unexpected. Hmm. I guess I'll need to recalibrate the singularity settings. Why are you talking? Kill! You're not my type. Huh. Looked in the mirror lately? You'll not catch yourself. Is this not gothic enough? How about a gothic library? You- what? But of course, because the enemy's take enough damage to convince me that bullets are actually topical headache remedies, I came here to talk about too many gill beasts. Which brings us to too many gargoyles. Three. Mother spiders. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I'm not sure if Sunstorm didn't understand Blood's mechanics or if they understood them too well. Man, do you hate sewers. You're not kidding, I really do. Sewer levels are almost always cheap, lazy, easy levels full of corridors and monsters, and not much in the way of actual interesting gameplay. There isn't enough boomer juice in the world to wash this shit down. which are so forgotten that they're still full of fucking cultists. If I ever have kids, they're gonna come out circle strafing. Mmm. Oh, God. This just tastes like citrus. It doesn't taste like any specific citrus. It tastes like, like, artificial citrus. You know those Japanese sex robots they have? This is probably what their pussy tastes like. If Batman was a gun, he'd be this. What? This isn't a bug, this is a feature. Jibitude. The most 90s FPS word to ever 90s in an FPS. I will not leave this level until I see 100 dead Nazis. Who said that? Who the fuck said that? Playing Plutonia is like being inside a wicker man. There's coffins at the beginning to give you an idea of your chances. Oh yeah, that's it. Harder, Derek, harder. You're in hell, even if this is some kind of subterranean frustration factory built by Sandy Peterson. God damn it. Katie, get me a picture of a demon banging Hitler. Yeah, okay, that's fair. I'm gonna give it eight old English words I've never heard of out of ten. This is like a shitty Steam Early Access game, so just think of how ahead of their time it was. Now it's time for what everyone remembers Doom 3 for. The Doom 3 shotgun is a travesty. I didn't think id was capable of making a weapon so bad, let alone a shotgun. They invented and perfected shotguns in FPS games, and you get this weird misshapen thing. I don't even know where to start. No, wait, I do know where to start. You can't fucking hit anything with it unless you stick it up a demon's nose! Look at this spread, look at it, that's criminal! Animations are not the best sometimes. Huh. 
Nice fucking model! There's no human NPCs in this game. This shit right here, this is why Todd Howard still has a job. That's a mouse trap. <laughs> the Tommy Wiseau of gaming controllers and that it's inarguably terrible but has some kind of alien charm to it? I don't see it. Maybe after this we can move on. I kinda wish Nintendo wasn't shoehorning the number 64 into their games at the time. Their dead-eyed stares are, though, and the fact that Duke is a console peasant. Time for a cold shower, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. So the Unmaker is a bit overpowered. I think you understand the implications here. Yes. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate Captain Dylan since playing this game. There are 60,000 miles of nerves and thin layers that fill the human body. If the word hate was written on each nano angstrom of these tens of thousands of miles, it would not equal one billion of the hate I feel for Captain Dylan at this micro instant. Hate, hate, hate. Hey, look, a forklift. It handles better than Duke's truck did. Why? We have crash test titties! Fucking roll! I made Katie watch a 2000 presidential debate to get this clip. Please leave an F in the comments for Katie. I'm so sorry. What is the fourth dimension? I know it took a while to get this video out, but let's just say I was busy doing other things. Sweet, sweet nuke. Nice fucking mo- C3D Realms, this is how you do tasteful mutant titties. And it's Duke Nukem, not Dick Kickem. I am dead inside. Pro Nukem, Simmy. You didn't even fight Wasma! Don't you ever fucking emoji wink at me again, you despicable. Duke Nukem inhabits a world that I would call seedy. It's a little greasy, right? It's a land of strip clubs, adult bookstores, porno theaters, where this buff cartoon man who is, let's face it, lecherous, a bit of a man whore, likes to indulge himself in this world, but also will fight tooth and nail to protect it from an alien race that is objectively worse. They stole our chicks, it's simple and occasionally childish, but it's pulpy anti-hero stuff. Duke Nukem is a lighter character than the world he inhabits. The entire dynamic was flipped in DNF 2011. The world was just as cartoony and stupid as Duke. He is a flippant, often needlessly destructive force in that world, where everyone calls him a has-been, and he's out to bitterly prove otherwise. People are either fawning over him or being irredeemably evil. In DNF 2011, Duke Nukem is the world, but before that, he only inhabited the world, and his ass-kicking to say that darker world was relatively heroic, whereas later it felt like he was mad the aliens were breaking all his toys. I think that being king of the world was the worst thing to happen to Duke. Sometimes I like to take a holistic approach to video game analysis and the differences between this game with all its cool style and fun stuff versus the trend following 2011 version may be related to the environment in which they were both created. See, the 2011 version was started by people who watched all of this cool stuff they were passionate about making get thrown out the window. You know what? Fuck it. Duke Nukem Forever 2001 is an immersive sim, and it got killed by the M-Sim curse. Oh my god! It looks like Rob Liefeld drew the end of Akira, and also some of my nightmares. That is not what arms are supposed to look like. Get that shit away from me. How did this man get testosterone poisoning? These were bookstores. They used to sell books, which we used to get from trees and human skin in certain circumstances. It's not important. But no, not Slick Willies open dusk till dawn. The pig cop survives this. Fortunately, we can cheap them out with the most dangerous weapon ever conceived in the build engine. Doors. They were good boys once. They only wanted to be good boys. Nobody steals our chicks and lives. Ken Silverman fucking up your game? Shrink them. Student loans? Shrink them. Loud neighbors? Shrink them. Crippling existential dread because of a deeply sociopathic society driven by greed and a primal need for dominance and subjugation? Just shrink it! There's nothing this can't fix! It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. And you are a lot of cum also, so... Balls of steel! Now a grocery store, full of fucking tanks! Grab your Devastator and get killin'. Those babes aren't gonna save themselves. Just cover anything that might turn somebody on. 
but it seems like when you introduce a Randy into the equation, everything falls apart for some reason. How greasy is he? Randy Pitchford is so greasy that Wendy's wouldn't serve him to ya. Randy's so greasy he can ride a dry slide at a water park. Randy's so greasy they had to keep the torches away from him at medieval times. Randy's so greasy it don't matter he can't get a woman wet. Order up! Are those jorts? No, Duke, don't stand near the explosive barrels! Yeah, that super scope looks real dangerous. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Stupid! You're so stupid! You remember Joe Lieberman? That's okay, nobody else does either. The Postal Dude is not a positive character. People who think that about Postal are the same people who think that Rorschach is the hero in Watchmen. I mean, what goal does he even have? Shut up, you fucking... Um... Don't say that, kitty, you racist asshole. What a fucking nick. Pigeon hunt? I thought that got cut out. Uh. Jojo the Idiot Circus Boy. Did you guys know this was a crossover episode? I want Jojo. I want Jojo. 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 Living in the desert turns into a crazy person. There's ways to play this game without killing anyone. Good luck with that. That's, uh, that's not fun. I have a micro penis. It's like one of those lightsaber keychains. I could go and confess my sins, but I'm not a Catholic or a Christian for that matter. I don't think anyone in this town is either, considering how they don't usually turn the other cheek. <laughs> Wait until the next generation of nakedly corrupt assholes gets in. Then you'll see some decent gamers. I'm gonna introduce you guys to the magic of literature. I can be anything. It smells like chicken. Take a look, it's in a book. I don't know, officer, it was like a protest or something, they lit themselves on fire. Okay, so here's how all the cars in Postal 2 work. Send out the former child actor, we have a warrant for his arrest. Go back to the donut convention, I ain't going nowhere. We're serious! God damn it, Gary, you brought the fucking fuzz down on me, you son of a bitch! But this is Kobe. Would you please sign my petition? Leave me alone. Hi there, would you like to sign my petition? Buzz off, creep. <laughs> It's okay, dude. Have a doggy treat. You'll be fine. I'm trying to get arrested. Oh my god, stop releasing new games. What in the goddamn fresh hell is a frog monster? The terrorist presence in paradise has significantly increased, and I'm the only guy posing as a cop who's doing anything about it. Tell you what, kids. Thursday is when I like to roll up my sleeves and save motherfucking freedom. It was then that I realized that I was planning a deadly bioterror attack in a video game. Wait till Friday, kids. Look at this goddamn donut convention. You emerge in the mountains of Tora Bora, ready to go on a jingoistic quest for revenge against an unquestionably evil horde of brown people. No one's impressed. Ah. Oh, man. <laughs> ah. A dick's got to know his limitations. Don't touch me. I'm calling my lawyer. Joe Lieberman done fucked us over again.
tactically, this means I have an infinite kill count for this game. Because I've gone so fucking postal that my work will carry on long past the end credits. This town is well and truly fucked. And next time, I'm gonna pee in its mouth until it pukes. Have a crotchy day, kids! So, maybe you can accidentally trip over the button or something? Donuts and fast food are just the best for sick people. Give a leukemia patient a dozen donuts, you just put a smile on their face. I mean, it's not the most immediate thing that's gonna kill them. But oh no! Zombies! The things that are possible through Allah. See, I kicked him and the game didn't even crash. Yeah, Fallout 76 is too shitty and broken for this show. Yeah, when I first tried to run this game, McAfee decided it was a virus. They weren't wrong. Did that dog just fetch me an assault rifle? It's the best game ever. This isn't called Coddle the NPCs with non-fatal attacks, it's called Postal. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Elephant foot wastebaskets, elephant foot wastebaskets. That's not something this world needs. There was no way I was letting the poor syphilis infected kitties down. AIDS! Hey, they're AIDS cats, not syphilis cats. AIDS! I'm fine. Will someone answer that goddamn phone? I'm starting to think that this whole game is some kind of Russian trolling operation. Maybe Putin ordered it himself. Is being on the police force a fucking welfare program in this town? Crack was fine, why did you get rid of crack? Dave, make it stop! I think this is a sex crime. Sometimes I miss the subtlety of Postal 2. Uh, Yas Feratu? That's not ketchup. That's not... Catch- what? This game is like eating paste for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm just being efficient. I'm walking out of this with three crack pipes, my trailer. I guess champ dying isn't canon, so that's cool. Who gave these medical professionals meat cleavers? You know what Vanilla Postal 2 is missing? Working playground equipment. My god. These are fucking zombies. And then John was a zombie. Vince, Desi, what did they do to you? Am I memeing, Daddy? Yes, again. Just like you did in high school. I have three dozen crack pipes. I'm practically invincible. It's time to win the war on terror again. Excuse me, what? What the fuck? I'm gonna introduce you to Civvy's rule of awesome automatic and semi-automatic shooting. And this rule states that your dual pistols or your quick fire pistol or your machine gun, well, they ain't shit unless you can play the opening of Judas Priest Painkiller on them. Allow me to demonstrate. This is some Mad Max level shit right here. I've never seen this kind of hostility towards a game in another game, but if anything deserved it, this is perfect. I wish I'd been here a little earlier to kick that chair. Isn't that your job, sir? Isn't that your job? Jesus, I didn't know the shady AC parts salesman had a union. Elephant foot wastebaskets. The kids love them. I couldn't find one at Apocalypse Weekend, but thankfully, here we go. In all its glory. This is exactly what I expected. I like sword. That's a personal weapon. Whoa, somebody's family tree is nothing but roots. Christmas is haram, sir. You think I won't kill a whole place full of raiders over a sword? I mean, it would only be the second time in a month I've done that. And when I run out of bread, I laugh all the way to the bank. Well, excuse you. You're getting the John Woo treatment, bitch. Nice hair. Rats. Can't get discouraged yet, though. This is only the beginning of my job search. Swell. If you got the green, nothing's too dirty for me. Yeah, maybe you can polish my rims. Get lost. Damn, no luck there. But I can feel gainful employment coming my way soon. Don't try this at home, kids. And if you do, stay at least six feet away. Wait, what? No. I don't... It's... I can't. What's happening? I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay, this is a smart business decision. What with the toilet paper shortage, the days might make a real splash. Ha! Ha! Oh, you son of a bitch! Hitchcock would be proud. Oh, you like hoarding essential supplies, you prick? Look, I know how to use the seashells! Jesus Christ, what is this, a Fallout game? Because it's not janky enough for that somehow. There's no money in the banana stand. Postal 4 is an immersive sim. May as well get to work on those errands. What? 
What? This not as big of a cat as I would have thought, you know, because the big the cat. Coney Island? I'm not going to fucking. Oh, Coney Island. I want to stop using this clip, but I really want the game to stop giving me the excuse to use this clip. Take this petition so we can show those fat cats what the voters really want. Bigger titties on cartoon rabbits? Crap. But I know how to handle this. Hey, Sivvy, I hear you like shotguns. <laughs> oh, Mike J joined Kaiser's Legion. I knew it. Oh god, it's making Postal 1 noises at me. Everything that has transpired this week has been engineered by myself to bring you here to me. You've been up to some crazy shit around town, dude. Fresh from the top. Oh yeah, shake it, kitty. Spock, my son is dead. Yeah, hold on, I'll bring him back. What the fuck is wrong with you? Who put all these damn crushers in here? John Romero? Oh, this guy's going postal! Just like in that game! Hatred! I'm starting to think that Vince wanted me to kill everyone involved with any project he's linked to. We're just gonna pretend that this character existed this whole time and that the dude married the other sister instead? Dude, you are really fucking your life up. I'm disappointed in you. We all want a tough Merc Mommy Dom wife. Or so I've heard. Now get your shit and check your ass out of there before you screw something up. Sure thing, I'll just... What? Oh, God. Hey, Vince, I got your pitching mission right here! Let's go! Oh. Ah. I guess that's why they call them holding pigeons. Now go home and get your fucking shine box. I regret nothing. How does one burst fire a fucking nuke? Shh, say nothing. I am sitting here, getting stiff! Okay kids, new rule. You're all forbidden from making dick jokes in the comments. Nah, I'm just kidding. Bang him out with your wang out. Warning. Just like Hiroshima. Okay, that is in pretty bad taste. Oh, god damn it! Oh, you rid, you motherfucker! Once you get the key in this level, the whole place fills with monsters again, so overkill seems like the best solution. But let's get everybody on their marks first. Step right up, step right up, folks, you're about to see fireworks like you've never seen before. They're gonna blow you away, they're gonna knock you dead, they're gonna atomize your entire body in radioactive hellfire. Everybody did. I like that. They're still not all dead. But aside from that part, you have to jump around this volcanic mountain and... Oh, the bees. Oh, I hate the bees. What, what is that? What is that? Katie, what don't you that? dare. Don't you dare. I swear to God. Stop. I could walk past them and just hit the exit. Hell, in Cooley Mines, I could have just walked past them and went straight for the exit, too. But that would be fucking mortifying. Absolutely dishonorable. Everybody knows the right way to fight is with a tactical nuclear strike. Not that the Japanese will ever admit it. Okay, you know what? I feel kind of bad about that one. I'm gonna think of another joke. We can just cut that. Nuke his ass first. Not that it does a ton of damage, but because he fucking deserves it. There's a secret here with Sailor Moon, who I think is the only girl in this game that doesn't shoot you. She's in Davy Jones' locker. You get it? You, you, Davey, Dave Jones. Hey, baby, you in bed? Is there room for two? Here, this will help you on your mission. Awesome. You good looking sailor, babe. Here, this will help you on your mission. Oh, yeah. Hey, bitches, how about you moon me? <laughs> well, you're kind of cute, I guess. 
Wait, how old is Sailor Moon? At the start of the series, she's 14 years old and she has her second year in middle school. Near the end of the series, she is 16 years old. She what what fucking weebery is this? Oh, here's Sailor Moon again. You good looking sailor, babe. Uh Maybe later, Mr. Wang. Still weird. Emergency room. Sure, I haven't blown up a hospital yet. All systems <laughs> ready. <laughs> Motherfucker! Don't fire nukes in the house. You are weak as a baby fart. Go live in fear. Fuck it, baby Wang. That'll get some eyeballs. The Ogre Citadel, believe it or not, fucking full of them. It's worse than the Icon of Sin. The Derpfish exists! Oh. Oh god. Oh god, please no. Don't do the dope fish dirty like this. Not like this. Thus was formed the developers of incredible power, the Dips, who forged Rise of the Triad. And nothing else. Prey was supposed to be their second game, but uh, that's another entire video's worth of story by itself. Here's your problem. Man, I wish I had footage of Gordon Ramsay yelling at Tom Hall. That would just be amazing. Come on, you can do better than that. I just thought... He that... thought! F*** off and think again, will you? Yes, yes, chef. It's a Christmas miracle. The D-Ball... Sorry, I know there's a couple 12-year-olds watching. I paused for their laughter. Hey, kids, you want some scaling routines? Okay, so Tom Hall and Joe Siegler created what I consider to be a virtual violation of the Geneva Convention with Extreme Rise of the Triad. No, stop. Now three of them are wearing sunglasses. What the fuck? I'm sorry, what? Yeah, that's just bowlers going upstairs. Why wouldn't they? Get out of this cursed level as soon as you can. You guys like platforming? And monks? It's all monks again. It's all monks again. It's monks. It's all monks. This is a boomer ass reference, Sibby. Shut up. Get out of here, new blood. You were in the last like five videos. Get the fuck out. You've destroyed my penis's reputation on the internet. But these are extreme circumstances. It's cheese! When Tesla starts making teleporters that accidentally fuse people with ugly cars, I won't be surprised. Actually, no, that'll probably be the point of the experiment. To create a kind of ride service where you never get to clock out. Where the experiments vomit up your Wendy's order and then you realize they forgot the fries, so you shove the bag back into the receptacle and send it back or else it won't get its tip. It's life is pain, honestly. Don't forget to tip. Now let's play Spot the Enemy. You're saying it's the Lightning Guard here, right? You know they can still take your missile weapons away in this game, but that's not who I'm talking about. It's this guy right here. Let's move on. You know, it's just another level editor, my guy. It's got some features. Come on, you don't want that? Over here, I got a Perilous Warp. I think you'd enjoy a Perilous Warp, you know? Maybe a good pastrami sandwich with a sensible amount of mayonnaise. Maybe this in Nissan Altima. It's only got about 80k miles on it. It's not new, it's not fancy, it won't suck your dick, but it'll drive you somewhere reliably where you can get your dick sucked. <laughs> Oh, I get it. It's a Doctor The Who reference. I was mad, but then the jibs. Try to pay maximum attention. That is a slob jank line. Try to pay maximum attention is like a skinwalker sentence. It's like English in the uncanny valley. There's just something slightly off about it, even though it technically makes sense. I call this one Little John. Come on, do it. Flip it. Flip the switch. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. If they get their hands on the missile launch system, they can be considered winners. They can be considered winners. Like, I consider myself a winner, but I'm a fat nerd who was just impressed by a spinning light in a quarter century old video game. Are you ready for some action? Yes, sir. <laughs> Legendary. 
That really bothers me and I can't explain why. Whoa, don't time stand in front of that time fan. I just time diced the time boss in it. Max, dearest of all my friends. This is a great loss for our platoon. Please leave a comment if you were alive in the Bronze Age and can tell me what those numbers are. 593 sextillion, 480 quintillion, 156 quadrillion, 531 trillion, 765 billion, 536 million, 123,791. Something that's a little, you know, less likely to be killed by wild boars. The gun is good. The penis is evil. Go forth and kill. And the little girl killed them. I think the moral of the story is always remember to murder the children. Oh my you God, get no stop. bitches. We can turn him into love. Oh, oh, God! Yeah, but it's like a prototype. Why would I do that? Isn't it a little out of line? It's not even finished. And I get to be an asshole and- Oh!